In this video, we will use Nestmaster 2D CAD to draw the to create the drawing that you see here. Start by creating a new a blank blank space here. Now we will draw a few lines. As you can see, the the small circle over the cross you want to make sure that's the snap mode you want to make sure that's on by right clicking and ensuring this auto define point is set so now we'll do our line we use coordinates we're going to go from zero to zero and we're going to make this a vertical line and just make it uh, long enough so it's longer than your diameter is approximately and, okay so that's a good start now we'll make some horizontal lines you can do this because of the auto define mode it snaps to the midpoint of the line so now we can left click drag our line out horizontal and we'll do it the same thing the other direction. Again, length is not critical here. Just ensure they're long enough, longer than your part is wide. So now, we will go to our select button here. And we're going to select both of these. We're going to select press on one, and we're going to press the control key and select the other and we're going to do a translate XY which is like the offset feature on most other CAD programs in this case we're going to make it go four inches above the line set the copies to one and now we're going to do the same thing to make it go below the line and in that case we're going to use a minus four copies one so now we're going to make our circle, go here to circle, and we can snap to that same point. Left click, now right click, properties, and we can put a diameter in. And there's our circle. Now, as you saw, this has uh, this center section extends beyond the radius of the circle. So to do that, we're going to again just select. I pick this line with a left click. Now I'm going to right click, translate XY, and in that case it's going to be a minus X direction, and I'm going to make it uh, 40 inches. And I need to make sure copies of one puts it there. Now I'll do it for the other side. That's a positive X direction. There we have it. Now we're going to start trimming. So trim to object. Okay, now it's starting to take shape. Now we're going to use the zoom to window. We're going to use our split object. Split it in two pieces. Select. Select on the piece and then press the delete. And now we can trim. Trim the object again. We'll trim this little piece. And this line here, because it's two segments, we can actually use the trim. We don't have to split it. Now we can zoom back out, zoom all, and we can zoom back in window on this part, split, select, search, delete, turn to object. I 
across the wrong one there. Okay, zoom to all. Now we are done with these lines. So we will, and we, again we can press on that one. And now to select the others, to do it all at once, we hold on the control key and left click. And then we can just press the delete button. Now we need to put our inner circle. Select the circle. Now we can right click and we can say arc center. So you click on this circle. That will ensure that it's they're concentric. Then we can right click again, go to properties, put in a diameter, and there we have it. Now all we have to do is to save or save as. And our drawing is complete. We can bring it into Nest Master to, to send it out to the machine to cut. Thank you.